my friends. It is Matty D here of uh, Team in the Black, where we help you to create emotional, financial, and physical well-being. And I saw this article today, and I had to just voice my opinion on this. This video is a rant and outrage. It's a, it's ridiculous. I have a question for you, who, whoever you're watching this. Is it okay to have a trace amount of herbicide in your breakfast cereal? Or as article asks, is trace amount of herbicide in breakfast cereals cause for concern? And another article on the same thing, uh, what's going on, which I'll get in the books. I'm not going to read them over in detail, but scan them. The links for them are in the um, links to the articles are, are in the, is in the, the uh, description below. But let's, let's really think about this. Herbicide, you know, if I if I am correct in my uh, my education here on you know means of words, when you have when you have C I D E side added to a word, it means to kill, like suicide, herbicide, fungicide, like it's designed to kill. So here's a question for you: Would you be okay if the government? I think they have. Uh, I'm so low because the government's not your friend. I'll tell you that. Would you be okay? The government said it's okay to have a certain amount of rat poison in your food, like your breakfast cereal, your coffee, your your bagels, whatever you eat. Would you be okay with that? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm gonna step on a limb and say that you'd be like, nah, I'm not, I'm not cool with that. Well, then, like, really? Then why is it okay to have herbicide in in your food? And what you'll see in the article, they'll say, uh, forget organization. Let's get into this real quick. Here. It says, what's the organization? Um, the uh, EPA, I think it says in here, um, I'd be correct, it says it's okay because it's a small amount and it's not not, not going to hurt you. I'll say this. Yeah, if you have one box, if you have one bowl of cereal and, and, and there's a small amount of poison in, you, in there, not going to hurt you. But what people don't understand where they get you, oh, it's only trace amount, it's okay. If you have that shit, pardon my language, but this is complete crap. If you have that shit over the long term, you are going to cause damage to your body. And I'll be surprised and blown the fuck away if you do not get some sort of disease or cancer. And this, this all ties to um, Monsanto because he's a weed killer, which is cereal. And apparently it's okay because it's only trace amount. But what they don't freaking want you to realize and understand is that, is that... It's over the long term because that stuff builds up in your system. And if you're eating it every day or twice a day, and you don't have any way to detox or stop eating it. You're killing yourself. So let's get into this real quick. An environmental ad advocacy group reports it has found small amounts of herbicide in consumer foods, including breakfast cereals, saying there's cause of concern, even though the, the amount is within limits. Like, why is it even being allowed in food? It's within limits allowed by the environmental, by, allowed by the environmental Protection Agency. EPA, I hate you. This is ridiculous, job, my friend. Just how much? Just how much? If any of the herbicide can be can be considered safe is a matter of long running scientific and legal debate. Okay, it's called. It's not good for you. You're an idiot. You feel like oh, that's not gonna hurt anything. Trace amounts over a long term hurt you. That's I feel like it's common sense. But hey, for but but keep in mind, I'm not a scientist. Just the man in the world trying to make it. Hey. The environmental working group standard for what's acceptable is by is by far the most conservative. Uh, the environmental working group commissioned tests of popular breakfast products, including Quaker Oats, instant oatmeal, and other breakfast cereals, and found low levels of glyphosate, <laughs> a weed killer spread in crops, in all 20 samples of tested. The group says companies to do more to eliminate chemicals from food products, even if the levels are within the limits of what the government considers safe. Thank you very much. Quaker insists, Quaker insists its products are safe and called the, e the EWG study invalid. Really? Seriously? So, glyphosate is the active ingredient found in the wheat killer roundup and has been a source of controversy amid claims that it is connected to certain kinds of cancer. Because it is. Ugh. The company that makes Roundup, Monsanto, says its research shows glyphosate is safe, which is crap, because, oh my gosh. <laughs> But a California jury recently ordered the company to pay $289 million to a man who argued his terminal non-Hodgkin's lymphoma was connected to Roundup. Oh, jeez. Uh, Monsanto is in the process of, of appealing the case. A judge upheld the verdict this week, but reduced the, but reduced the company has paid to $78 million, according to Associated Press. Uh, okay. 
it's, it's ridiculous. Uh, EWG released results of, a, of, of an earlier set of tests in August. The group tested 45 samples of conventional granola bars and cereals and 16 organic products. It said it found some amount of glyphosate in three-fourths of the products with small amounts in five of the, of the organic products. It was ridiculous. But, all right, I'm not going to go into all this. You can read this. Click the link below for this one. Um, this article here, uh, what was it say? A report, more breakfast cereals, snack bars, test positive for trace amounts of wheat killer, uh, a wheat killer chemical. And then glyphosate, same thing here. Dozens of, common breakfast, dozens of common breakfast cereals and snack bars that trace amounts of a controversial herbicide found in the wheat killer roundup, according to a report released today by Environmental Advocacy Group. ED, D, the EWG found that 26 of the 20 products it tested levels of randomness main, main ingredient glyphosate, okay, that were higher than than what EWG scientists consider protective of children's health. A report, an early report found similar results in over 30 oat-based foods. You know, I'm really starting to think I shouldn't eat oatmeal. I just like grow my own food at the backyard and be like, hey, it's safe. So glyphosate, son. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> Manufacturers, of course, say their product is safe, but the EWG report argues that the vast majority of foods tested, such as Honey Nut Cheerios and Quaker, Quaker, simply granola oats, have glyphosate levels that might pose a cancer risk long-term consumption. I'll read it again. They have glyphosate levels that might pose a cancer risk with long-term consumption. I'm not going to read the rest of the article. You can read the rest of it here. But people, I'm a, I'm a random point into your head until you until you sick of my voice. It doesn't matter if the amounts are small. Of course, they're not small. They they're not gonna make them huge. On because they made them huge, you'd have the explosion of this crap, and it would just it would cause it would their plan would backfire. If it's small amount, you do it one time, you're okay. It's not. It's it's like it's like you know people 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 understand that. Heavy smoking, heavy drinking is bad for you. If you have one night, you get wasted, you ain't going to die. You have one night, you have a cigar or two, you've never smoked cigars before, you're going to be okay. But as long as you stop and don't do it again, your body heals, recovers, it detoxifies, especially if you, decay, especially if you have the right nutrients, which we do, you're going to be fine. It's when you do it over the long term that causes issues here. And if you're new to this, I don't care. Just wake up. Like, this isn't acceptable. I'm going off on this because... It's ridiculous how it's okay to have a type of poison, a certain amount, that's acceptable in your food. Like, would you want poison in your food? This is ridiculous. So anyways, my friends, you know, I hope this get, you get some vibe from this to wake up and realize that the food we eat is not healthy. It is poisonous. We have an overabundance of poisonous food, which makes us overweight. But since it's solo nutrition and poisonous, at the same time, we are malnourished AF. Malnourished as fuck. So anyways, let me know where, you, let me know where, where your comments are uh, You know, on this. Comment below. Please share this video. Let the world know what's going on. And, um, you know, if you have an interest in you, you really want to help, you know, not just how, you know, if you have an interest in not just helping people become aware of this, but to actually show them a way that they can um, you know, become healthier. We're on a mission of doing that and we can definitely change the world. Uh, either, you know, reach out to me in the contact information, which is, which is in the description below or sign up for a newsletter and shoot me an email. Let me know. We can talk, um, do a health consultation for free. And, uh, guys, it's important. This, this is what's happening in the United States. I can't speak for us the world, but, you know, it's sad that, you know, they poison our food supply because they, they know that you're going to eat, you're going to starve, but it's like, you can starve to death or eat yourself to death for the long term when you don't have to have the choices. So anyways, I'm done. Comment below. Reach out if you want to take this next level. And as I always say in my videos, I love you and get in the black. Peace.